Welcome to this very impromptu video. I, like you, am reacting to the news that Boise State and BYU will not be continuing their regular series past 2022. Jeremiah Dickey, the athletic director for Boise State, uh, very casually actually responding to fans on Twitter, announcing that BYU has decided to discontinue the series with their move up to the Big 12. This is shocking news because this is one of the best young rivalries in college football and I think one of the most fun rivalries to watch out there in college football and it must continue. I'm going to present a very strong, very solid case why this rivalry game must be continued and why Jeremiah Dickey for Boise State and uh, Tom Homo for uh, for BYU, the athletic, direct, the athletic departments for both these schools must do everything in their power to make sure this rivalry continues. We're going to go through five reasons. Strength of schedule, the importance of the regional matchup, recruiting, uh, fan buy-in, and then finally one point that I think is going to be con controversial, uh, and I will back my, put myself up here, so if you just stand by and listen to my reasoning, I, th I think I might win you over to the, my side on this, that this is the fifth point, that this is the best rivalry game that either of these schools have. Yep, don't turn off the video, listen to the end, we're going to run through it right here. So first off the bat, strength of schedule. This is a no-brainer from the Boise State perspective. Obviously, BYU, they're, they have been a top group of five. I've always argued that they were a power five hidden inside of the group of five. That, and as an independent, they didn't deserve to be classed into the group of five anyway. Uh, and now moving up to the power five, they will be going forward an official power five team. So no-brainer strength of schedule for Boise State. Well, for BYU... The, it is also a good move having Boise State on that schedule. Big 12 is not the SEC. You know, it's not the this year's Big 10, at least. The Big 12, with the move for Texas and Oklahoma out of the Big 12, is going to be one of the weaker Power 5 conferences. Now, I'm not saying that they're a super weak conference. I'm not, I think they're definitely going to have a step up on the, on the Pac-12, and I think they'll have a step up on the ACC as well, at least in the recent future. But Houston, UCF, Cincinnati, while those schools have shown some promise, they haven't shown the longevity of other programs. When you look at what's left in the Big 12, it, it's not top, you know, most of them are not top schools in the nation. Oklahoma State, they're good. Baylor showed some good promise this year, but you know, that's not, you know, Iowa State, Kansas State, some, some of these other schools show some promise from season to season, but they're not power teams that you can just say, all right, we played these teams, we're going to deserve a shot at the playoff, doesn't matter what our non-conference schedule. You can't just schedule cupcakes. So the Big 12, they're going to need quality power five, uh, quality power opponents, whether power five or top group of five. And it's gonna get harder and harder and harder to schedule those power five matchups, especially with the agreement between uh, the, the Big 10 and the ACC I believe the Pac-12 is in on that as well. Uh, and then the SEC now going to this larger conference, this first true super conference format uh, with the addition of Oklahoma and Texas and having to play so many games within their conference plus uh, trying to preserve uh, rivalry games that are already going on in the SEC. Those Power 5, true Power 5 opportunities are going to dry up. Boise State is a great guaranteed matchup, and I, like I argue for BYU, I say the same thing for Boise State, and, I, and this is not just my opinion. Boise State is a Power 5 team in the group of five. When you look at their facilities, uh, especially their training facilities, when you look at their standing, their national brand, their record, what they have done with their program, their perennial, you know, this last season, yeah, obviously, uh, new coaching staff stepped back. But in general, perennial top 25, always in the conversation for the New Year's Six. They are a quality opponent. Whether you win or lose against them, they're a quality opponent. You beat Boise State, the, world, the nation takes notice of that. It's not like going out and beating SMU, you know, that or someone that, you know, might be quality, but they take, you know, or, well, they don't kind of see it as more of a group of five win. Boise State is seen as the same as beating a mid-level Power 5 team. I'm not saying it's Alabama, but it is seen in the same light as beating a mid-level Power 5 team. So it is a quality opponent. Um, and so BYU is still going to need a strong non-conference schedule. They're going to have opportunities to put other Power 5 teams on that list. But Boise State, is a they already have this guaranteed schedule that they've worked out. They are a good option for BYU to have them on their schedule. All right, second here, regional matchups. Um, Boise State, 
Easy again, uh, regional, non-conference, uh, top-tier opponent. You know, obviously, Boise State's not having to travel too far from most of its Mountain West foes, uh, except for when they have to go play Hawaii. But in general, not having to travel too far, but it gives Boise State another top non-conference, uh, top-tier non-conference matchup here uh, with a nice, close regional rival that they can play. Great for fans to travel down and visit. It's a great road game. On BYU, though, this becomes even more important because for BYU, you're joining the Big 12. You are going to be, by my estimates here, 800 miles away from your clo or closest, 800 miles plus, that's depending on your, your route navigation, but 800 miles plus from your closest Big 12 ally. <laughs> so Texas Tech, by my estimates, unless I did something wrong, but by my estimates, Texas Tech should be, in Lubbock, Texas, should be the closest Big 12 team, and they are 826 miles away from BYU, and everyone else is much further. It is going to be a haul for BYU to travel. It's the right decision, joining the Power Five, joining the Big 12 is the right decision for Big 12, but it is for BYU, but it's going to be a haul for their fans. They need close for since their conference schedule is going to be so far away anyway they need non-conference games that they can schedule nearby either against Pac-12 like they have done in the past or against quality Mountain West teams and Boise State provides that opportunity again a, t a, a route that both fans are very familiar to driving back and forth between uh, Boise State and Provo. This is a great matchup that's been going on because of how close these two programs are. Third point here, recruiting. Easy again, both programs recruit heavily versus each other, notably, of course, Taysom Hill, uh, the Idaho native going over to BYU, uh, and then more recently, quarterback discussions, uh, former Boise State backup, Caden Fennigan, going to BYU. But Boise State's also snagged their fair share of BYU prospects as well. Both of these programs recruit against each other at a very high level, especially when you start talking about in-state recruiting, uh, Boise, Utah State versus BYU, when you start talking about, you know, okay, well, maybe they want to keep that matchup. Well, Utah State does not recruit at the same level versus BYU, and they, they just don't because they don't play at that same level, whereas Boise State is playing at a peer level and will continue to play at that peer level with BYU and continue to snag those top tier or be in the conversation for those top tier recruits, the same ones that BYU is going against. And this having this rivalry game is a great opportunity to enhance the recruiting of both of these schools. Fourth point here, fans want it. This is a this is a awesome rivalry game. That is a great travel game. I keep mentioning that over and over again. The great road environment for both of these teams. Fans love traveling. It's very welcoming in general, even though it is a rivalry game and at times has become bitter in nature. It is still a great welcoming environment, whether you're coming up to Boise or you're going down uh, to BYU. It is a great welcoming environment for both of these teams. Uh, so Boise State fans definitely want this matchup. The announcement, Boise State fans are really aghast by this. And BYU as well. I'm on a BYU fan page uh, that my friend uh, Raphael pra uh, Prado runs. Um, uh, so he has he runs the BYU, I have it written down here later on, uh, here, uh, BYU Blue Crew. Uh, and the announcement on that page has been shocking. Everyone is pretty much reacting the same way Boise State. Now, there's some fans here and there they are going to have a dissenting opinion. But in general, the response to this has been, this is, this is terrible. This is a great matchup. We should keep this going. The fans want this matchup. In fact, on a recent poll on that page, on the BYU Blue Crew on Facebook, uh, in a recent Facebook poll there, 75% of fans said they would rather play Boise State than Utah State. And that brings me into my next point and final point here, which is that Boise State versus BYU is the best rivalry that either of these schools have. Now, let me hit the less controversial one first, uh, and then I will hit BYU here in a second. So going from the Boise State perspective, yeah, we have great in-conference rivals, especially Nevada, Fresno State, and San Diego State. Those are probably the best in-conference, true, bitter, hated rivals, history between them, especially between Fresno State and Boise State and Nevada and Boise State. However, they are playing in a different division than Boise State, and they're on a two-year rotational schedule. So every couple of years, we don't play them for two years. Uh, so Boise State versus those three schools, while they're great matchups, I wish Boise State was in that section of the conference. They're not. So Boise State ends up not playing these key rivalry games for a couple of seasons, and you end up having players on the roster. They talked about with, with the Boise State versus Nevada game, where while fans really t t attach to these rivalries and consider them rivals, the players, some there were players on the roster who 
didn't consider the team as a whole didn't seem to consider this a rivalry game because they're not part of that history because there's long gaps in between the rivalry games. Um, Air Force in conference, yes, it has been a competitive series and could attain in some sense the nature of a rivalry game, but it's while it's a rival, it is definitely, I will say, I will correct myself there, it is definitely a rivalry game. There's too much respect between the two schools, especially Boise State towards Air Force because of Boise, the city of Boise and Boise State fans in general, deep respect for the military. Because of that, it can never be a hated or bitter rival. Uh, so that really takes away from that element there. Even though it's a rivalry game, it's not a true rivalry game because rivalry games need passion and they do need a little bit of hatred as well. Uh, Utah State, Wyoming, those aren't really true rivalry games yet. Could they develop into them? Yes. Could they have that hatred element added to them? Yes, but there's not enough parity right now between those two teams, and they have, haven't been enough uh, back and forth in the series between those two schools. Going forward in the future, maybe. Especially Utah State seems to be picking up their game, but right now, not true rivalry games. So BYU, they're an equal to Boise State. Absolutely, absolutely an equal to Boise State, and the series proves that. Uh, they are cha they're challenging. The games are incredibly fun to watch. I'm going to talk about that here in a second, but they are very, very close games. Uh, they're regional and recruiting rivals. They're regional rival. They're just right there, just south of Boise State, but they're also a recruiting rival. Like I said, Boise State and BYU constantly pick off each other's recruits. Um, and, then, and then finally, there's plenty of bitterness and hatred in the rivalry to go around and definitely adds to the rivalry nature of the Boise State versus BYU rivalry game. All right, let's look at BYU. Now, BYU's top three rivals, current rivals, I know there's other historic matchups that BYU has, but as far as teams they play regularly, their top three his current rivals are Utah, Utah State, and Boise State. Now, granted, I'm a Boise State fan looking at this, so maybe I'm misreading or overlooking some other team, and you can correct me in the comments. Uh, but from at least from a Boise State fan who has followed BYU for a long time. And like I said, I'm, I'm not a BYU fan, but I like to follow their team and root them on when they're not playing Boise because the better BYU does, the better that it looks for Boise State win or lose against them. So that's, that's part of the reason that I'm in the BYU Blue Crew and just keep an eye on, on what the feelings are in BYU at the time. So anyhow, main point here is Utah, Utah State, Boise State. When you look at these three games, these three series histories, so Utah, sure, lots of history between the two programs. First meeting, 1922, 85 games in the series, but it's been very lopsided. Both historically, 59 wins, four ties, and only 32 wins by BYU. So 59 wins by Utah in that series, both historically and recently. Now, yes, BYU won this last season, but that was the first time in 10 years that they'd done that. They were they were 1-9 and nine versus Utah since 2009. 2009 was the last time that BYU had gotten a win against Utah in that series. So they between 2009 and 2021, they didn't win a single game in that series. And a lot of those games were blowouts as well. A lot of those games were not, you know, not extremely close affairs. Uh, so 2009 to 2021... 1-9 and nine in that series. Overall, 59-4-32. Utah, quality opponent. A team that, you, that, boy, that BYU definitely wants to try and keep in the rotation on the schedule from time to time. But, n as yes, true rivalry. I'm not saying it's not a true rivalry. But I think when you look at in the grand scheme of things, it's one of those rivalries that is too lopsided to truly be called a great rivalry game, especially recent history. Um, and here's another consideration. Now, this was this season, but... The Mountain West is a strong conference as well. Mountain West ranked higher than the Pac-12 this season in overall conference strength uh, by, I believe it was Athlon Sports, no, uh, Atlantic. Um, no, sorry, Sports Illustrated. Three, I had a second my brain through that. But my main point here is that when you're comparing these two conferences, Pac-12 versus the Mountain West, Boise State versus Utah, while they might met while well, Utah might eclipse Boise State this season as far as as a strength of a scheduled opponent. Boise State's still right up there at the top, and as for when you're comparing strength of conferences, Pac-12 and Mountain West pair up very well together, especially when you start talking those mid to top tier teams. Um, Utah State, sure, more more history, lots of history. 1922, first ever matchup in the series, 90 games overall. But again, another lopsided. Now, this time in favor of BYU, but lopsided nonetheless. 
BYU has won 50 of the matchups, three ties, only 37 wins by Utah State. Recent history has been dominated by BYU, uh, 7-3 and three between 2011 and 2021. Uh, only two games in that series were less than 10 points over the difference of, of, of the margin of defeat. Only two of those were less than 10 points, and three of them were blowouts, 20-plus point wins by one team or the other. Now, Boise State, yes, they are recent rivalry game. Sure, they're recent, but it is strong. It is growing. It really felt like, I mean, it kicked off right off the bat in 2012, a 7-6, one-point win. Michael Atkinson for Boise State uh, taking a defensive touchdown to the house. That was the only score by Boise State in that game. Uh, so a, a series that has had incredibly close games and truly it is one of the best young rivalry games in college football and I think at over time it could develop into being one of the top rivalry games of all time in college football given enough time and the way the series has progressed so far and the, the path of both of these programs um, so six and since since 2012 which is the regular season there were a couple games Boise State played and won it previous to that but 2012 was the start of the regular se regular series seven and six seven to six was the first score there and overall in the series Boise State and BYU have matched up very well Boise State owns a slight edge six wins to four uh, losses four wins by BYU there six to four five of the games have been by less than ten points so the the winning team has won by less than ten points two of which have been by one point. So that 2012 game, and then I, I believe it was 2017, I didn't write down the exact one, but, but two of them by, let, by one point. Two win games, two wins by one point. Um, only two of them have been blowouts, including the 2020 game. Uh, I think there were other situations going on with a weird COVID year there. But other than that, only two blowouts in the series uh, by 20 points or 20 plus points. Uh, BYU is one of only 12 has one of only 12 wins on the blue since 2003, and they're one of only 10 teams to win on the blue. So they are part of an elite club, and that is that is something to take with pride to be able to go in and win on the blue like that. And that dominance by Boise State, by the way, that dominance by Boise State at home and truly in their record overall, especially when you look at winning percentage in the top three in the nation, is another is another factor in considering Boise State as a top-tier opponent, adding to that strength of schedule. But a lot of this has also been the magnitude of the losses. You look at the 2019 Boise State loss to BYU was the only loss in the regular season that year for Boise State. They were number 14 in the nation with their third-string quarterback at the time. But no excuses, they lost to BYU, and that kept them out of the New Year's Six. They absolutely would have been the favorite to go and represent in at least the New Year's Six, if not <clears throat> maybe make a drive or at least an argument for the playoffs. This last season, 2021, BYU ranked number 10 when Boise State plays them. They lose to Boise State. They would go on to lose to Baylor the next game, but who knows, if they'd beaten Boise State that game, maybe they would have had the magnitude of the occasion would have risen to the challenge and beaten Baylor. Either way, it definitely knocked them off track for any chance at the playoffs and also off chance for the, uh, sh took them off of their track for the New Year's Six, ends up playing UAB at the end of the season. So a lot of this has been the magnitude of the losses and that also helps build the rivalry. And the main factor here is that this has been an incredible rivalry series between Boise State and BYU. You know, Utah, good opponent, but just truly too lopsided to really count. You know, yes, you've got the Utah State, you've got the in, sorry, you've got the in-state, uh, in the state of Utah rivalry, the Holy War. It's, it's a well-recognized statement, and I might be I might be being a little facetious here and saying that Boise State's a better rivalry than that. But when you look at recent history, especially recent history of these rivalries, Boise State is a better rivalry in the recent history of these two, comparison between these two schools. And I think that Boise State and, B and Utah, on a, when you look at them as a scale overall, you know, past and coming through to the present, they match up very well together as far as quality opponents go. Uh, and then Utah State, I don't think Utah State should even be in the running here for conversing on w top rivalry for BYU because of the state of Utah State as a program. You know, nobody looks at them and considers them a top group of five or even uh, maybe a power five team. Nobody looks at Utah State that way, not like they do with Boise State. Boise State is an incredible school, a top tier opponent, and this rivalry, for all the reasons I've listed, 
has to survive. It has to remain because it is one of the top rivalry pro rivalry games for either of these programs. Even if you consider Utah better, fine. Boise State is still a top rivalry and truly one of the only rivalry besides, you know, one of only three rivalries that BYU has right now. Schools build themselves partially on their rivalry games and there might be some opportunities to build some rivalries within the Big 12, but that's going to take time. And especially going forward in the recent future here, BYU needs to maintain these rivalry games to continue to build their build that hype to build the recruiting to build the the, the regional matchups that come from playing a team like Boise State in non-conference uh, within their regional matchups here. All right, so solutions. How do we fix this? Well, first and my favorite is just restore the regular series rivalry. However, I understand BYU's situation. And I understand the argument of those who want to potentially bring in some other opponents as well and not necessarily locked into one team that they have to play every single year. I would also be accepting of a every other year series where, you know, Boise State plays them in 2022 and then in 2024 and 2026 and throughout the, the that way every, you know, one year divide in between. I think that's enough time to short enough of time to keep the rivalry alive, but also it also allows BYU to alternate some other teams in there on their schedule. I, I said my favorite, keep the rivalry as it is every single year. I think that's the best decision for both of these programs. But understand if they want to go one-on-one -on -one off. The best solution, though, the best solution is bring Boise State into the Big 12. And I'm not going to go into that in this video today. I've already gone on longer than I wanted to. I'm not going to go into that in this video today. But ultimately, that fixes both of these schools' problems. It gives BYU a rival and a regional ally in the Big 12. It's the best solution for both of these teams. I did a video with Coos from Coos's Corner. Um, I did a video earlier this season where we talked about Boise State to the Big 12 and why that would be a good move for the Big 12 as a whole and for Boise State. I'll put the link in the description, but that's all I'm going to say on that. So, like I said, athletic departments for Boise State and BYU – Fan bases for Boise State, BYU, Bronco Nation, BYU Blue Crew. We need to raise our voices. Let ourselves be heard. Let let the powers that be understand that this is not a decision we are okay with. We want this rivalry to continue. Ultimately, it's going to be up to us if we make enough noise. If we let it be known that you know, at the end of the day, the money drives the wheels. <laughs> so. If we let it be known that we want this to continue, if donors let it be known, if fans let it be known that this is a rivalry that they are committed to, the schools will feel the same way and will restore this rivalry. Join me. I'm not saying you have to share this video, but do whatever you need to do. I would appreciate sharing the video. Like and subscribe as well. But do whatever you need to do. Get on Facebook. Get on Twitter. Write to these schools. Call these schools. Tell them that we want this rivalry to continue. And these athletic departments should make it their number one priority to get this rivalry reinstated. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, as always, uh, make sure you join Bronco Nation Updates if you're a Boise State fan, over 9,000 members. And make sure you join uh, BYU Blue Crew, uh, Raphael Prado's uh, group over there, my friend Raphael Prado. Uh, BYU Blue Crew, almost, I think they've got almost 4,000 members now. So awesome place to connect with, their, with, uh, with your fellow BYU fans. And it should be a great, great time if we can get this rivalry reinstated. Um, it's It's... The best thing for both these schools. So like I said, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, go Big Blue!